But of course, it's not just about new concepts. It's also about having a, a good look at the standard again from the perspective of usability, from the perspective of structure. And one of the things we also added to the standard, for those of you who've downloaded the booklet, uh, you might already have noticed that we start off in a different way by showing how the standard builds up from models and concepts and elements. So we have added an upper level generic meta model to describe the structure of the standard. And this is just one picture out of that uh, generic description uh, showing how this, this language is built up. So a model consists of concepts. We have three different kinds of concepts, elements, relationships, and then relationship connectors, which are a special kind. And then these elements are subdivided again into behavior elements, structure elements, motivation elements and composite elements. Um, and then you, you can go down structure elements. We have passive and active structure elements, etc. And this, this is this regular structure is now explained in the standard in a much better way. So that's for the, the framework of the, the standard and for the structure. So that's been improved as well. It also helps people who want to implement the language because they have the background now and they can find it in there. 